Hi guys, it's me, Mon. Welcome to my channel and good morning to some of you who are maybe morning people. I'm definitely not, as you can probably hear from my voice, which is half there. But uh, it is my first day back of the season after four weeks holidays, starting on season three now. Three now. <laughs> um, first week back is always pretty interesting. You never really know what to expect, so I thought it'd be the first perfect opportunity to bring you guys along with me and get a first-hand experience of what it's like to work in a theater. Um, yeah, so basically I'll just kind of take you through my days. You can see what it's like. Uh, we're supposed to have rehearsals this week. Let's see what happens. Sometimes it changes, so stick around. Masks, we're ready. Off to the ready theater. To yeah. Zalking in the lid. Uh, new mask. Okay, so this is after class. Um, I'm in one of the studios alone. I told myself that I was gonna come here and work. But I'm having like motivation issues, so trying to pump myself up to do a couple exercises. I broke my elastic. in my dressing room after class. So today, rehearsals ended up being canceled. I actually have the day free. I did some exercises. <laughs> Here at my spot, you can see I've kind of decorated it a little bit. This is pretty common, at least in this theater. We decorate our spot with all these little toy toys and memories from performances. Um, this is the leotard for today. Sorry, I've already kind of sweat through it, but uh, just the corpse, as I said, I love, love, love the back. It's so pretty, super low cut. And these are Zerly wear tights, really comfortable. So yeah, I uh, am going to take out my hair, shower actually, which is great to have showers here. You can leave the theater clean. And then I'm gonna go and get some errands done for the day. I have some work to do and I need to prepare some point shoes. In the meantime, I'll uh, keep you posted. Now I have to air out my point shoes. These toe pads tend to get like really smelly. So you leave them out overnight so that they can dry out and not make everything else gross. I'm missing one, so that's Okay, we're on a mission to find taco making fixings. <laughs> Let's go. This way. So what do we need? Uh... Well, we have chicken. I guess it will be more fajitas than tacos, though. Okay, so I'm home, fed now. I basically have a lot of chores around the apartment to do since we are still moving in. I have to kind of unpack the bedroom and uh, still some things in the living room have to be done. And then when that's over, I actually am taking some school classes, so I will do some of my work for that. It is now 10.40 and things are starting to wind down here. Made it through a lot of cleaning. As you can see, the apartment is finally starting to come together. Uh, I'm just doing a bit of schoolwork, checking my planner to make sure I accomplish everything today that I needed to do. And uh, then I'll start getting ready for bed and sleeping. 
I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Okay. Yeah. So basically, I'm curious to see what happens tomorrow because we are still scheduled to have rehearsals. But now, as I understand, the reason our rehearsals were canceled today is actually because the choreographer couldn't make it in due to corona reasons so i don't know is he gonna be here tomorrow or we'll find out i'll let you know i mean i need to rehearse i need to start like ramping up getting into shape especially since we're performing in weeks truly nothing at all so <laughs> nervous energy i need to calm down going to bed going to sleep everything's fine what am i doing removing my makeup that's what I'm doing. Also, maybe losing my mind. It's definitely time to sleep. I feel like it was kind of a cheat, cheat day. Like, we didn't really rehearse, so it was just class. Which, I mean, is nice. I think it's really important to move slowly. I just had, like, mentally prepared myself for a lot more. But that's, that's ballet. That's the reality. Um... I'm really struggling with the lighting. Today happened to be an easy day. Maybe tomorrow I end up suffering in the studio for eight hours. Let's see. I'll keep you posted for sure. In the meantime, I'm going to bed. I will see you guys later. Okay, day two. We're not really sure what to expect when we get to the Opera House, so let's see what the day has in store. See you there. See you there. waiting for my rehearsal I have like an hour and a half actually because right now they're doing corps de ballet and then I will come in to do the soloist part that should be fun we had a guest teacher come in and he really killed us off but it's perfect for what we needed feeling much more aware and in my own body um, now actually the choreographer isn't able to come in today but we are just working with our ballet masters on some of the choreography we already know so that should be good to just kind of get a reminder and that's the plan for the day okay no talk <laughs> is this allowed on youtube <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we finished rehearsal it's roughly two i'm not really sure the clock is wrong they always are here um 1.44. 1.44 p.m. according to Matteo. We're just kind of in the studio upstairs, rolling out, stretching out, um, which is really important. We don't always do it, but we definitely should. And I'm definitely having motivation issues. I really don't want to get up. Hey, we are theater bound. We left our bikes in the city center yesterday, so we're going to take the bus. We're already running late, as usual. See you at the theater. Back in my dressing room, I'm actually running like two minutes late to physio already, so I gotta go. It's 8.47. And uh, yeah, so this and then warm up and then class. Some costumes. Hanging around the opera. So I just finished physio. It was kind of painful because he was really massaging into my foot in the area that's hurting. But that's good. Now it's time to warm up. Okay, dressed, ready for class. Rehearsals are still scheduled right now, but like every day they kind of are getting canceled midway through class, so it's just kind of a guessing game at this point. Let's see what happens.
Okay guys, so first week has come to a close. It is now Saturday and I just thought I would sit down with you all and touch base after having brought you along for the journey. As far as first weeks go, this one was really super manageable. I had gone in expecting a really heavy week of rehearsals, but because of what happened with the choreographer, most of mine actually ended up being cancelled. This is actually a perfect example of some of the realities of this profession. There's really no such thing as working a 9 to 5 job here. You can show up in the morning and be there from 9 to 1, or other times 9 to 11. Truly, if you have a show, it can go that way. Um, which is, it's incredible, it really keeps you on your toes, but you just never know what to expect. Even if the theater puts out the schedule on Thursday or Friday the week before, which they always do, schedules can change so much throughout the course of the week. I, I love that about being a ballet dancer, but it does come with a huge amount of responsibility. It means that you have to be going to bed on time, eating nutrient-dense food, it means that you have to be sewing point shoes all the time because you have to be sure that you have enough to get you through the week in case extra rehearsals pop up, those sorts of things. It means going over your choreography before you go to bed or your corrections to make sure that when you wake up in the morning you're prepared for what's expected of you in the rehearsals. There's really no such thing as just leaving a theater and going like, okay, like, done, disengaged, at least for me. I really feel like ballet is more than just a job, it can become a lifestyle. It really can. Of course, it's important to be able to let things go, to have your own life, to relax in the evenings, but you're, there's no such thing as really completely like letting that part of your life be for a couple hours. Like I said, almost every decision that you make, not every decision, but many of the decisions that you make over the course of the day do affect the work that you do in the theater. So you have to really be sure that you're aware of those decisions that you're making and be very conscious about it. It's a lot of responsibility, as I said. And for example, uh, this past week I showed you that I did have a super light rehearsal schedule, but rather than becoming super complacent, which is very easy to do, I realized like, okay, I don't have that much, next week I will, so it's my job to get upstairs in the studios, work alone on some point work, or this is a great time to be doing some cross training that I don't normally have the energy for. I'm having a bit of foot pain in the top of my arch, so I'm going to get into physio and just take care of those things because next week it's going to be very busy and I need to make sure that I am stable and strong and healthy. You have to be constantly aware of those things and take care of them as they go, as they come. So, yeah, I think that even though maybe this was not the most exciting rehearsal week, it's still a great example of what can happen in this job. You, like I said, you don't always know what to expect, and that's some of the beauty of it. I hope that you guys enjoyed getting a bit of a taste of what it's like to dance professionally. I know that I had so much fun bringing you along, and I look forward to doing it again sometime, maybe in the thick of the season when I'm just living and breathing at the studio constantly. But for now, I think this was a great chance to show you into my life, and I just want to thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, share, subscribe, all those things. I also want to thank you so much for all the views and likes on my first video. I am so mind blown by, by almost 600 views and truly under a week. I. When I put that video out, I was thinking like, okay, I have no presence on YouTube. If I get even 20 views, then I'd be like, you're doing all right, girl. But truly, almost 600 views, that's amazing. So thank you so much again for that. I look forward to putting more content out there and entertaining you guys and letting you into my life as a professional dancer. In the meantime, kisses to you all. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon.